Welcome to the Smite feature reveal for Open Beta. Today, we officially launch Open Beta for Smite and introduce new content and many new features. The Conquest map has undergone a major artistic makeover. The layout of the map is the same as the previous design, but most of the visual assets have been upgraded or replaced. It is now easier to discern your side from the enemy side. The Minotaur rooms are color-coded, and the environment transitions between lush green mountains behind your side to an angry volcano on the enemy side. Within the solo practice match, you now face an enemy raw with improved AI. We miss the Manticore, but Ra allows players to practice against an actual god character. Ra behaves more as an enemy player would, and we will continue to improve the AI's intelligence over time. In ranked and challenge conquest matches, players from each team now use draft mode while in the match lobby. In draft mode, players on each team pick gods once a god is chosen, no other player on either team can draft that god. Once you have drafted a god, you can trade that god with another player on your side. This allows players that draft early to secure a god for another player that is drafting later. We've added team management, which is just the beginning of our in-game support for competitive play. In Smite, a party is what we call the temporary group you use to queue up together. A team is a more permanent group that organizes itself for competitive or social reasons, and you can be in a single team only. From the Social tab, you create your team and name it. The creator of the team is automatically established as its leader and can create a tag. Other team members can be assigned a rank of initiate, member, or officer. Under the competitive tab, you'll find a new ranked team conquest queue. To join this queue, you must be in a five-person party composed solely of members of your team that all are level 15 or above. In future patches, we'll publish rankings of the top teams playing in this queue. The Smite Spectator camera now enforces a three-minute delay between the live match and spectating to protect against cheating. Currently, only tournament admins and shoutcasters have access to spectator mode, but broader access will be available in the future. In the meantime, we have greatly enhanced the spectator functionality and controls. The spectator can navigate freely around the map, jump quickly to objective points like Fire Giant, or view from the perspective of any individual player. When viewing a player, their messages and accolades now display to the spectator. Rewind points are generated every 30 seconds, and you can easily skip backwards or forwards within the match. A server-side demo file is recorded for each spectated match for later viewing. And, best of all, with slow motion and pause, you can see the action combat and visual effects of Smite up close like never before. We have updated and improved the stats information so you can review match history in-game. The end of match screen has also been improved. On the SmiteGame.com website, you can review every match played and now view additional stats like damage taken, best kill spree, and best multi-kill. The game now allows you to set different resolutions and screen types between the overall lobby and a match. For example, you can run the game in a windowed mode while not in a match and full screen while in a match. Visit the video tab on the settings screen to configure this behavior. This release includes a number of new skins including Solar Eclipse Raw and Master Guan Fu. 
Also, as a special thank you to our beta participants, any player who reaches level 30 before Smite's official release will get the limited edition Demon Emir skin. Finally, with this release, we introduce our Refer a Friend reward program. You can now easily send a custom referral link to a friend. As your friend levels up, you earn free favor and gems. Thanks for watching this Smite feature reveal, and we hope you enjoy Open Beta.